Hi everyone, it is Yen here from Yen C Art. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I am in a collaboration today with a bunch of talented artists. Um, it is the Earth Day Collab 2024, uh, which will be running on April 21st and April 22nd. Uh, thank you to Nate. Big shout out to him for putting this together. I hope that you will be watching all of our videos and um, there'll be a link to the playlist in my video but you most likely have already found it in some of the previous uh, artists before me. Um, the theme for the Earth Day collab is Recycle, Reuse, Repurpose and Reimagine. I am repurposing and reusing an old canvas that didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Right now I just put some black gesso on the bottom part where I want to do a craggle effect which for which I'm using Pepeo Studio um, crackle paste. The first time that I'm trying this I'm really happy with this how it, how it came out. Um, regarding Earth Day, yeah we need to all work together on saving our earth of course um, there's a lot of things that we can do individually um, two things I want to talk about first thing is uh, um, water consumption water preservation uh, or conserving water um, small changes in daily habits can make a big difference um, I for one when I shower I always turn off the water when I'm lathering up so I just go under the water get wet turn it off put on soap wash my beard wash whatever and um, then once I'm lathered up I turn on the water again rinse off and that's it my showers are typically I guess five minutes probably and I do not have the water running the whole time so that's a small thing another thing that I do is I um, we get HelloFresh delivered uh, every week. We get the for three days of meals. And uh, when that arrives, uh, you guys who know it, uh, of course know that the, there's uh, bags of ice in the, in the, in the box. And uh, those bags are actually, we, they're using clean water. And um, so what I do is I actually, uh, cut the open the bags and I put the ice in our water cans so that we can just water our plants with that so just a little little tip of what you can do with that water um, and yeah just um, be aware of don't let the water run for too long when you're doing the dishes or there's a lot of things that you can do with the water. Another thing that is one of my pet peeves is litter uh, and especially li uh, cigarette butt litter. Um, I'm probably going to be in getting trouble with some of the smokers here but there's a lot of waste with uh, especially cigarette butts um, and it is a huge issue it is um, the environmental impact of cigarette butts littering cigarette butts is humongous um, first of all they're full of toxic chemicals cigarette butts contain over 7,000 chemicals including nicotine arsenic and lead and when they're discarded improperly the chemicals will leach into the soil and water posing a risk to the wildlife and the ecosystems let alone all the filth that you see when you're walking on the streets. I walk my dog every day and I see cigarette butts everywhere. Um, cigarette butts are the most commonly littered item globally. There's an estimated 4.5 trillion discarded annually worldwide. Um, please use the bins and the ashtrays uh, wherever you are. Don't just throw the but when you're done with the cigarette, it really doesn't make sense to me. Um, they decompose so slowly 
Contrary to popular belief, they are not biodegradable. Uh, they're made of a type of plastic called cellulose acetate, which can take anywhere from 18 months to 10 years to break down in the environment. 18 months to 10 years, so quite a big amount of time. Uh, they are the, a significant source of marine debris with an estimated 1.69 billion pounds of cigarette filters ending up as litter each year. They release toxic chemicals into the waterways that harm the aquatic life and ecosystems. Um, and also marine animals often mistake cigarette butts for food leads them to in ingestion and entanglement. Studies have shown that cigarette filters can be harmful to even or even lethal to marine organisms like fish, seabirds and sea turtles. And the cleanup costs for this my mini tiny part littering is just a cigarette butt. So some people would think that it's really not that bad but the financial burden of cigarette butt cleanup fail, falls on taxpayers and local governments. Now, what I found um, online when I searched for it was uh, for the U.S., but I haven't found anything for for all of the the whole world. But in the United States alone, it's estimated that over 11 billion dollars is spent annually on cleaning up cigarette litter. So, just be aware. Just put your butt in the not <laughs> put your cigarette butt where it belongs in the ashtray. Have a little I wouldn't even call it funny, but a story from my, our personal life here, uh, where we live in Berlin. On our front door step, steps, people are often sitting there, enjoying some food from one of the restaurants close by, or in there smoking cigarettes. Which for a non-smoker in itself is annoying, but that's what it is, and, and that's fine, as long as they, they clean up after themselves. But they don't. Every day, there's, litter, there's cigarette butts on our steps to our front door. One day we come home, we've been out walking with uh, Titus, and we come home, and there's two guys sitting on the steps, and we ask if we can pass because we have to get up to our apartment one of them is smoking he takes a cigarette and puts it out on the stair and uh, leaves it there and I say to him in German please don't just leave it there and he goes why <laughs> why I tell him um, our stairs are not an ashtray and then he goes but what am I supposed to do there's literally a garbage bin five steps from our st stairs and they all have little compartments for cigarettes. So of course I point to the garbage bin and say, well you could put it in the ashtray over there. He looked at me as if I was from a, another world, but yeah, I guess. That's just how it is with some people, um, but yeah, it's a big, it's a big thing. It's a big thing for me. It's really a pet peeve of mine. Um, I like I said, I see the cigarette butts everywhere, and it's clear that when people smoke, they do not think. Most smokers, I know that some do, but most smokers do not even consider the facts that I've just listed here, and they just uh, throw their cigarette butts on the street when they're done with them. can also cause forest fires where if you are in areas of the world where it's dry in the summer uh, they're often the cause of the forest fires and um, anyway that is enough of me talking about all this as you see and let's go back to the painting um, as you see I'm um, beginning to paint on the trees here uh, thank you Kathleen for showing me and helping me This is the first time ever that I'm trying to put on a tree uh, to, put, to paint trees on my paintings um, I think it came out nice um, I'm not sure if I'm in love with this painting um, But it, it was fun to try 
I do love the crackle part of it, um, so I'm definitely gonna do some more of that. Um, and um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video as well. I'm just gonna play some music for the rest of the time. And uh, once again, thank you to Nate for putting this together. And uh, do use the playlist for watching all the videos. Um, and right after me will be my wonderful friend Britta. And after Britta will be another wonderful friend of mine, Kathleen from Cos Creations, who will be finishing today's train. Uh, another train is starting tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I do hope that you go check all those out as well. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. You have a wonderful day and you all take care. Bye.